Hi, welcome to my channel, Melissa the Happy Stitcher. I'm Melissa and this is my first floss through video. I'm very excited to have you here. I'm gonna start with an introduction and then I'll go through some of my whips and I have some questions from my viewers and some advice that I'm seeking. And then I'm gonna go through a couple of new starts that I'm interested in cracking open and I'm kind of hoping that you guys will help me decide. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Know Your Needle Worker tag just to get through it quickly. Um, so where do I live? I live in North Carolina. I'm in a suburb right outside of Charlotte. Um, what do I do for a living? So I've been a teacher for 21 years and I've been out of the classroom now for two years as a teacher coach and I absolutely love it. I thought that I would hate being out of the class and miss it. I do kind of miss working with the kids every day but I love working with the teachers and I love being able to see every kid in the building and know that what I'm doing is helping all kids and not just one class. So I'm loving what I do right now. Do you have any children? Yes, I have three kids. Uh, my oldest son is 18 and getting ready to head out to college for the first time. So there's a lot of stress in the house right now and a lot of tears to come from this mom. <laughs> uh, my middle child is 16, well, will be 16 in a few weeks. He is gonna be a junior. And then finally, I have a little girl about to be 13 and she will be in seventh grade. So there's a lot of teenage hormones raging through this house, so pray for me. Um, do you have any pets? Yes, we have two pit bulls who bark a lot. So eventually you will hear them in one of my videos. They like to bark. Uh, what other hobbies do I do besides stitching? Well, I do like to read. I read a lot. And I also like to do felt stocking kits. That's how I actually got into stitching. I picked up a stitching kit from one of my stocking groups. Um, one of our friends on the group had a stitching kit from Busilla and decided to auction it off. And I won the auction and decided to do the kit and fell in love with the whole process. So that's how I got into stitching. My favorite movie at the moment, it's Coco, Disney's Coco. I watched it a few months ago with my niece and nephew and I loved it and I kind of just keep watching it. <laughs> so that's my movie. TV shows, anything on investigation discovery. I like serial killers and murderers and unsolved mysteries. So if I'm not watching Floss Tube, I'm watching investigation discovery and trying to solve a murder. Uh, favorite book. I have a lot of favorite books, but my all-time favorite is Dante's Inferno. I studied um, English literature in college, and so my heart is in Dante's Inferno. Scary, I know. <laughs> my favorite music is country music, Carolina Girl. And one word that describes me, I think loyal. I'm a loyal person. I'm loyal at my job, I'm loyal to my family, I'm loyal to my friends, so loyal. There you have it, that's me in a nutshell. So, you're probably wondering, well, Melissa, what are you up to lately? Um, I've only been stitching for two years, so a lot of the stuff that you're gonna see may not look up to par with some of the stuff that other floss tubers are showing, but I'm very honest about the work that I'm doing, so you'll hear me say, you know, I started this, you know, my first whip, my second whip, and this is why it looks this way. So, I'm looking for advice on some of my pieces. This first whip that I'm going to show you is a little kit that I got from a friend at work. It's very cute. Let me put something behind it. It's very cute. It's a map of the United States. I moved the heart from the middle of the country to the Carolinas where I met my husband. And I really want to finish it, but just like many of the kits that I start, I run out of floss. So I'm actually out of floss to finish Alaska and I'm looking for a floss that matches. So I'd love to finish this kit, but with these small kits, I always tend to run out of floss for some reason. So I'm looking for either a floss that looks just like it that I can finish Alaska or I might end up frogging Alaska altogether and doing it in a similar blue. But there you have it. So that's my first whip and it'll a quick finish but it'll be a whip until I find the right floss. Hopefully the next time I record I'll have that one finished. This next one is a classic new stitcher mistake that I'm trying to remedy at the moment. So this is a Mill Hill kit. 
which in and of itself, I think, was a mistake, trying a medical kit so early. I think I started this sometime in my first year, like maybe three or four months into stitching. It is um, Enjoy the Harvest. It's a really nice autumn piece. And I just loved the colors. And I, I did pretty well. I mean, I, it was going well. The only thing is that I didn't realize that you should do all the stitching and then the beading. So I was stitching and beading at the same time. And so it became a little bit of a logistical nightmare for me. So as you can see, I have some of the beads already. So from here on out, as I continue it, I'm only doing the stitching and then I'll go in and add the beads. And I just put this back in my rotations. I hadn't touched this in over a year. This next one is a full coverage piece. I love it. I bought it on eBay. I absolutely love jellyfish. And I found this one on eBay. It's called Jellyfish in the Sea. And I just loved the blues and yellows and orange on this piece. I started stitching it in Stitch Mania. Yes, I did Stitch Mania both years that I've been stitching, which is crazy in and of itself, a new stitcher trying that out. But I started this this year for Stitch Mania and there you have it, that's what I've gotten so far. I've only worked on it one day after Stitch Mania. I'm hoping to get back to it pretty soon. But look at those blues and that orange. I can't wait to finish this piece. I love those colors. This next one was exciting for me because it was the first pattern that I bought at a needle work store. So it was my local LNS and it's my big toe. It's called Storms Bring the Rains. And I was so excited because it was the first time I actually went in like a store and felt like a big girl stitcher. Um, I wasn't ready to try my hand at linen for Stitch Mania, and so I started it on Ada. I think at this point, I'm ready to start over again on linen. I do have a problem with linen, and I'll get to that in a little bit. But I'm still hopeful that I can do this one on linen. My next whip is from Barbara Batts Hillman, and it's her book of the best of her work. And it's a wedding sampler. Now, one thing you need to know about me is I love teal and aqua. So this is the wedding sampler. I absolutely love the colors in this. I'm not crazy about the little cherubs, but whatever, it's blue. Um, and I love it combined with the golds up here. So I started this in Stitch Mania and I got most of, I can't figure out for the life of me what this green thread is doing up here. But anyway, um, I started one cherub, no back stitching yet, but this is one cherub up here. And I'm hoping to get back to this one soon. This is my five year anniversary coming up in April. I don't think that'll be done by then, but it'll be nice to have a little bit of a of some progress on that. Okay, the next one is by Design Works. It's called Be Grateful and Give Thanks. I love this piece and it's fun to stitch so far. I'm trying to finish up all the kits that I started. I kind of went all kits when I started cross stitching. I didn't know where else to get patterns. It wasn't until I started watching Floss Tube and I got on some sites online on Facebook that I kind of started realizing that I could buy in other places as well. So I didn't find patterns besides kits for a while. So this is be grateful and give thanks. And as you can see, I've started some of the flowers. 
I've done the back stitching as I go. I don't hate back stitching. I find it a little relaxing, but I didn't want to have a ton of it on this piece left over because it's got quite a bit with the flowers. So I'm hoping to finish this one by November for Thanksgiving. It'd be nice to have on the mantle or on the dinner table in a frame. My house is, except for my bedroom, very modern. And so I can only go whimsical for the holidays. There's no other place for whimsical except my bedroom and one little stitchy corner that I have upstairs in a little kind of desk area. You can probably hear my dogs barking now in the background. Okay, this piece I love. This is called Resurrection Cross. And I really liked it. However, newbie me didn't realize that as beautiful as that was, it would consist of many, many nights of this. And so a little more experienced me doesn't want to do this much longer. So I don't know if this will ever be finished. And if it is finished, it's going to be years from now because I can't imagine doing this much longer. I kind of do it, I try to take it out every two weeks and work on it at night, just like mindless stitching while I watch TV. The next one is another design works. This one I absolutely love, it's called Be Kind. My dogs are going crazy, I think my neighbor's outside. And it is on Ada, but this is a nice Ada. I'm gonna give you a close up. It has some like wheat colors to it. This has been a quick stitch. I really like it. I love the vibrant colors and it's something I can stitch rather quickly. And it's been easy to count on the pattern. I've taken it with me. It's kind of a travel piece for me. This next one was my second stitch ever. I had started one and finished it, the little one that was auctioned off that I won. And I mean, that one was, it was a rough finish. <laughs> it didn't look so great when I was done, but I was very empowered by it and I wanted to do something even cuter. So I bought a little kit thinking that I was doing the right thing by going small, but I didn't realize then that it was a Dimensions Gold Collection Petite. And it was gonna be hard with a lot of colors and mixing colors and half stitches. So this rooster has been lingering now for two years. He's beautiful. He really is. I love him, I love the sunflowers but he has lingered more than I want him to, and I cannot find the energy to finish him. Every time I start, I mean, I've worked down here in this little corner. I switched locations on the chart several times just to see if I can find some renewed excitement. I think this week I've worked down here on this little flower in hopes that that would invigorate my love for him, but it hasn't. I think he's just been around for so long right now that I'm just tired of him. This next piece, not one of my favorites. I can't even tell you why I bought it. I think it was one of those moments where I just wanted to buy all the things, which happens to me a lot. It's a Mill Hill kit. It's called Quilted Garden. I think that I thought it would be great for my mantle for Valentine's Day or for the 4th of July. It's got red, white, and blue, some pink, white, and blue. Um, but again, another, another one where I, I kind of, I did finish, this one was a little smarter. I finished all the cross stitching in the area before I started beading in that area. But I like, I don't like this flower down here on its own. I'm not feeling that. I'm not really feeling the whole chart, so I'm not having as much fun with it as I thought I would. 
I'm hoping that's just this pattern and not the Mill Hill kits in general because I have a bunch of Mill Hill kits. I have a lot of stash, which I'm hoping to show you guys little by little because if I did a stash parade, it would take me four hours. Um, I have a lot of stash and a lot of it is Mill Hill. I've got a lot of small stash and that's made up of a lot of Mill Hill kits. And if I don't like Mill Hill kits, I'm gonna have to start selling them soon. So here's one of my two current dilemmas. This is another one that I got that day I went to my LNS shop. It is by Drawn Thread. It's called Welcome Halloween. I love it. It's beautiful. I decided I bought this that same day. Still wasn't ready to use linen, but really wanted this pattern. My husband loved it, really wanted the pattern. So a few months later, I took it out and thought, I'm ready to try linen. Everybody said it would be cumbersome when you start and not to give up. So I went to Joann's and got some linen. Now, it's not just a little bit cumbersome. I can't see it at all. Morning, noon, night, I can't see it. And I don't know if part of the problem is that I got the linen from Joann's. I think you can already see like in the light, it's not very even. I've heard that sometimes when you get linen that isn't good, that might be part of the problem. But anyway, here's my start on a crow. Oh, hold on, I have string coming off the side. So that is my start on one crow. Two over two. Um, I had to frog this one time completely. A little bit less than what I have here, but just about. So this is the second time I've done it. And it's kind of been a guessing game. I don't know if you can see. There's, there's gaps in it. I can see light shining through some of it. I'm just not happy with it. And I don't know that that's what it's supposed to look like. So I'm headed to my LNS shop tomorrow, but I'd love your input as well. Is this just that I'm horrible at linen? Should, by this point, should I have felt better about using it? Should I feel more confident after doing this much? I mean, should I be getting the hang of it by now? Or do I keep trying? Am I using the wrong linen? Um, so I'm gonna go to her tomorrow, to my local expert, and ask her to help me pick out a linen for this piece tell her what my problem is. And I'm also gonna pick up some dyed um, even weave, just in case this doesn't work out for me again. I'm a little worried, cause I do like the feel of linen and I don't wanna be that one cross stitcher that can't stitch on linen. It makes me sad. My next dilemma is that one of my early starts was a heaven and earth design. Yeah, I know, one of my early starts a few months into cross stitching was a giant piece. Um, but it's Sheena Pike's Pretty Blue, just gorgeous. I'm not really a horse person, but my mother-in-law is, and I thought this would be a great gift for her. So we have 25 count fabric and I did two over two. Now, as you can see, I have an error here. I picked up the wrong floss and didn't even notice it until probably I was down here and so I'm hating that um, also I don't think you can tell on the video but the stitches are really tight I wish this would focus a little better the stitches are really tight and I don't feel I don't feel like they look neat you know when you think about it this was one of my first stitches so there were things i didn't know had i known what i know now i would have noticed early on right up here that the stitches were tight and i probably wouldn't have done two over two on such a small count this is i think 25 count even weave 
I would have probably done one over two or I would have done, um, I'm sorry, I would have done uh, one over one or I would have done two over one and a half stitch. I wouldn't have done two over one full cross. So I would have known that. I would have also have known to keep my threads straight, to keep my floss straight. So there's a lot of places where the floss is twisted and I, I can pick that up easily now with my eye and it bothers me. So I tried, it's getting hard to, to finish at this point, to continue because it's hard to get my needle through in some spots. So I tried the other day to go to a, a half stitch. Let's see if I can. So right here, I went to a half stitch hoping that these three lines right here that you wouldn't be able to tell. And then I went back to a full stitch and you can definitely see the difference. It's noticeable. I was hoping you couldn't tell the difference and I can go to half stitch and be done but I can't so I bit the bullet this morning and bought more fabric um, and I'm gonna start again probably in half stitch so as much progress as I made on this baby she's gonna be put to rest and we're gonna start again so that's it for my whips right now I think I have a lot of whips maybe not compared to some people but a lot for just having been stitching for two years but I get bored easily, so I have to have something to entertain myself. <laughs> um, next up, I'm going to show you, I think I've got six patterns here. And I kind of wanted to show you guys my six patterns. I'm thinking of doing a Fresh Start Friday and starting something new this coming Friday. So... This is one choice I would love for you guys to weigh in. So just put in the comments which one you think I should start on. The first choice is this Panic at the Disco pattern. My daughter loves Panic at the Disco. Um, she went to the concert. I took her to the concert this year. It was her first concert ever. She knows every single song. And she found this pattern on Etsy and wanted me to do this for her. So it's all black and white except for the smoke coming out of his... Um, Cigarette is all different colors, very vibrant. It's a beautiful cross stitch. Would love to do that for her. So this one is one option. The next option is this beautiful pattern. Now this one I picked up, I went to visit my father in New Jersey and I found this beautiful needlepoint store called Needleworkers Delight in Metuchen, New Jersey and they had this stitched on the wall it's the Advent Angel and she was done on Ada they could not find this pattern for me anywhere in the store so they printed it for me they were able to find a PDF for me they printed it for me free of charge um, as long as I bought the fabric. So I did, I bought the same fabric that it had been stitched on there, which was an 18 count Ada in a cream color. And I decided to go Ada with this one just because that's what it was stitched on there and it looked really pretty and I didn't want to change anything about what I was seeing because it was so beautiful. So there's Advent Angel. That's another option. This one is by Sue Hillis Designs. It's called Hello Autumn. I've been itching to stitch this one as well. I think this would go great in my living room for autumn. So that's one more design. This next one is by Designs for the Needle, and it's the Guardian Angel. I love this because my sister and I had this hanging over our bed when we were little, and it just brings back such great memories. So when I saw this, I just had to have it. I found this at a D-Stash site. It's a Jamlin design. So 
So there's a guardian angel. Next up is Ooh, I can get it out. Glendon Place, the Three Wise Men. I wish I could do it without a glare. No such luck. Um, the Three Wise Men by Glendon Place, and this was also bought at Needleworkers Delight. This will be one of the pieces that I take to my LNS tomorrow to ask for some help finding the right fabric. And then finally, I have Merry Wishes, which is a beautiful piece um, by Lynn Tesh. And I have all the pieces for this, except the, I have the linen and the little stars. It has a lot of little charms on it, star charms if I could so the star charms that it comes with oops that hang off the letters and then I'm hoping that I can get some advice on linen if you guys have any tips and tricks because I bought this beautiful linen the color is dawn it's a 32 count by picture this And it's beautiful. It's like an evergreen color. So I'd really like to stitch that one day. So those are my choices. So it's Merry Wishes, The Glendon Place, Three Wise Men, The Advent Angel, Hello Autumn, The Guardian Angel, I don't know if I said that, and The Panic at the Disco. So if you wanna put in the comments which one you think I should start next, I can get started on Friday. So that's it for my first video. I kept it to about 30 minutes, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm excited to see what you guys think of my first video. I just wanna thank everybody in this community. Um, you have all been so helpful. I watch every floss tube video that I can find. I just learn so much from everybody. I'm learning how to finish my pieces in different ways. I'm learning new techniques. I'm learning just how to have fun with cross stitching. And I can't thank you guys enough. It's just such a supportive community. And I hope that I can add something to it. So thank you for taking the time to watch my video. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you.